Hey, and I want to show you how to make a super easy bunting flag with print and cut. So I've just started with a triangle and I've duplicated it. I got my triangle from Design Space Shapes. I unlocked it and just dragged it down a bit. And you can see there that I've duplicated it, flipped one side and welded them together. And that, that's it, I've got a diamond. So that's gonna be my flag. So now I've gone in to colors and changed it to print. And then you can change to pattern. So you can either choose colored flags or you can go in and choose a patterned design. What I love about the patterns is you can use it for print and cut for so many different projects. So for dragging in, for example, my alphabets and making them printable, scrapbooking decals. But for this, I just want to make some really easy, really cute flags. So I'm going to start with my pink. That's my first color. And I'm going to duplicate it by six. So I'm going to put five to one side. And that's going to be my first pattern. So if you can see, I'm going to arrange them so that I can connect them all together. And this just means I'll get less wastage when I'm printing and cutting. So I'm going to line them all up so that I'm using all the available space. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to recolor this flag. And once I've chosen my pattern for this flag, I'm going to do the same process again. Duplicate it, keep one spare, and then recolor that and keep working till I've got enough flags and I'm happy. Now, another amazing feature of patterns is that you can actually edit them. So I'm going to choose this pattern here and I can barely see the pattern. So when you click on your pattern, you can click edit pattern and then you can see that you can make it bigger, you can change it. So this now will make my polka dots a lot more visible. So that's a great way that, to edit your patterns so that they just all look a bit different and to tailor them to your project. And lastly, I am going to connect my project together so that I'm not wasting any space on the cutting mat. So I simply by right clicking and then attaching, this project will print and cut, as you can see, exactly on the mat as I have done it on Design Space. Mm -hmm.